Young lady? You ready? Go get them. Okay, hi, my name is Tiffany. Breaking up Ray Farms, I have gained knowledge of the business world. <clears throat> While working there, I have found out about the new um, health care policy. Because Ray Farms is a small business, it affected the lady. Um, but because Ray Farms cannot afford for all their employees, well, they have to be full time or whatever. Because um, we have our own health insurance or whatever. And um, because we have to have our own health insurance, we can't afford for all our employees to be full time so they can cut back some hours. Healthcare reform in the U.S. is still a highly debated topic. Even after a long awaited ruling by the Supreme Court was handed down Thursday, here are details of the court's decision and how businesses in particular could be affected. It's a decision that stuns some tenants and will undoubtedly send ripples throughout the business community. The Supreme Court ruled 5 to 4 that the Congress acted is right to require most Americans to carry health care insurance. That a law also carries requirements for businesses and regarding health care for employees. What does that mean? What the decision means to you depends greatly upon the size of your business operating. For example, if you own and operate a one person business, the impact will be much the same as an individual. If you have more than 50 employees, on the other hand, the impact of your business could be quite different. Depending upon whether or not you currently provide health care coverage for workers. Reaction and reflection, a mixed bag. The Supreme Court decision will likely mean higher costs of, for small businesses, especially some that may not currently offer health care <coughs> coverages for employees. But the reaction among small business owners and groups could be a bit more varied within, with some concern the decision represents a terrible blow to entrepreneurship, while others believe it will bring down costs. A moment of clarity. Some small businesses owners are less than happy with the Supreme Court's ruling on health care and requirements that they must now supply coverage or hit with a fine. But economics argue that the ruling does provide one benefit to business owners, the clarity to finally know how to plan for the future. Winners and losers. As the 80 Rocks bands once said, some will win, some will lose, and some were born to sing the blues. In the same way, some businesses will be winners and other Businesses will be leaders. The Supreme Court ruling on health care. Businesses in health care industry, for example, in many cases, doing better. However, some businesses that don't currently provide health care are in for a big cost increase. Thank you. Thank you. Nice work. Very good. <laughs> Tanya.